Hola, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel. My name is Antoinette. I'm an entrepreneur living here in the Toronto area, and it's always been my mission, vision, and goal to impact, motivate, and inspire the masses. And I do that amazingly through this YouTube channel. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. Guys, today we're going to talk about the exact business plan that got one of my mentees $100,000 in funding. I'm going to break down exactly what she was able to accomplish with this plan, how she did it, and how to do the financials when you're when you want to secure a loan or a grant or an investor with such a high investment. So there are simple business plans, there are one page plans, there are lean plans, but there are plans that do need to go into a lot of detail, especially when you want to secure a large amount of funding. So I got permission to share this plan with you. I'm going to break it down. I'm going to show you where she did to make it. Sorry, I'm going to show you where she went to make it. OK, and this video is complete raw truth and I'm going to go right on into everything. So let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. OK, I hope you guys have a pen and paper. You know what I always say? Note takers are money makers. OK, so um, this company was called Voyage Deluxe. OK, I have to I have to protect company names, you know, if clients don't really want to share company names, they don't have to. So the company name is a cover up. OK, and I'm going to read just a few sections that are in this plan. I'm going to break down to you why this was so well written and why investors loved it, because we did ask for feedback. And then again, I'm going to show you the financial portion. So pen, paper, please make sure you have it. And I hope you guys are super excited because I literally love success stories like these. OK. Um, so opportunity, problem and solution. You guys already know what I always say. In order to attain financing, in order to get success, in order to really level up in any way, shape, or form when it comes to business, your business has to be solving a huge problem, right, that other businesses are not solving. And you could find these problems by going into your competitors' websites and look at their bad reviews. Look at what people are saying that they don't like about the company. This is a huge thing that Voyage Deluxe did do. Faith is the owner, okay? Voyage Deluxe is by far unlike any other clothing boutique. So right there, she immediately said, it's not like anything else. Now, a lot of people will say that. They'll say, my business is like nothing else. It's the best. We are the one and only. But you want to go into why, okay? And it has to be very convincing. So for starters, it's solely directed to the travel niche market. So what she was doing is selling bathing suits. But for the travel niche market. When it comes to creating a business, it's always best to have a niche because not only is there less competition in that niche, but all your marketing and everything can be laser focused to a group of people, which makes it a lot easier to get the word out. So if you have a business idea right now, just try to find a niche for that idea and make sure in your business plan, investors or loan sharks, or even yourself, you know for sure that you're targeting a niche and you know how to speak to them. OK, so everyone loves to step out of their everyday busy lives and take a few days to relax and enjoy life. Voyage Deluxe specializes in high quality swimwear, hats and several exclusive travel accessories. As a small boutique, we offer far fetched designs that are irresistible to the eye, which is where the name of the company came from. Voyage Deluxe. It's French for travel and luxury. So that's amazing. OK, the business name has meaning. Again, this is a cover up, but business name has meaning. She expressed what the meaning was and she expressed that she provides high quality swimwear. So it's not like you're going to walk into Walmart and pick up a random bathing suit for $20. No, this is high quality and we're targeting a certain niche. OK, great quality material that's proven to last longer. We use Lyrica, which is a type of stretchy fabric. I don't know anything about this fabric. If you are a fashion enthusiast, you probably know. I don't know. I'm not a fashion design expert, but if you're an investor who's interested in fashion or interested in being a part of something that's next level, that sounds really fancy and that's intriguing to the eye. Okay. So find fancy things to impress investors in your business plan. Similar to elastic, it's used to make a tight fitting garment. So I like how they actually explain what Lyrica is because me as an investor I would look at this and be like what is that but she literally just said what it is so as well as addressing common problems in swimwear quality look at this she's addressing problems right she's addressing problems that people face so such as thinning material shape loss one key area is the one key area 
Um, the fiber makes notable difference to perform the lifespan and in combating the effects of chlorine. Ooh, okay. So longer lasting swimwear, combating effects of chlorine. I have to read all this like it's my first time reading it so you guys understand the key points that really stick out to investors that should be in your plan. Swimming pool chemicals rapidly deteriorate fibers and fabrics. She knows her knowledge. She knows what could go wrong. This is a problem affecting the longevity of swimwear. But with her fabric, it actually resists chlorine and pool chemicals five to 10 times longer than unprotected fabric, allowing garments to keep their shape. Huge selling point, huge selling point. The fabric that she uses with her swimwear is gonna resist chlorine and things that are gonna affect the quality of clothing. Why would I not want to invest in that? So also for those who are body conscious, which is a lot of people in this world, we offer full one piece swim sets that acts like a body shaper, which gives the illusion of a more trimmed waist and draws attention away from unwanted curves. So it's literally a swimsuit that shapes you. I've never heard of this before. And as somebody who may be interested in investing in a business, that is a huge selling point. Everything is here. That's a problem. A lot of people are self-conscious. They don't like their bodies or society has this label that you have to have a small waist and, you know, all this other stuff. So um, they're playing into that, I guess, that label and they're offering swimsuits that will actually give you that illusion. So Voyage Lux provides both Italian and Indonesian fabrics, which gives our swimsuits higher quality. So it fits better on the body. So again, problem solution, the problem worth solving. Market size and segments, okay? You got to know who your market size is and you have to do research. I cannot stress this enough. So Voyage Lux major target market is everyone, okay? Our clothing ranges from toddlers to seniors. So again, it is everyone, but it is a luxury line. So it's going to be a little more expensive. Um, but it's still the average cost is 30% cheaper than places like Lacenza and those higher end places. So the estimate number of potential clients is $500,000 within the geographic area. However, they offer services worldwide. Okay, so our solution, not only do we offer an exclusive trip every 120 days, I'm going to say we because Voyage Deluxe is a long name to say all the time. So I'm just going to say we, but there's a customer point system for every dollar spent one point is given. The points can then be used for money off exclusive limited offers and product releases. So this is cool um, because when you have something unique like a point system, it shows the investor that you have a selling feature or a market, a money market, a money magnet, sorry, to bring people into your business. How are you going to convince people to shop from you and nowhere else? A point system is a, a great way to do that, right? Then competition and what their advantage is. So our advantage is targeting the travel industry. One-stop shop for ones that for anyone's travel needs, starting with the essentials such as swimsuits, hats, travel accessories, then later branch off to skincare products such as sunscreen, lotion, and so forth. Unlike many other clothing vendors or in store, they encourage traveling and seeing the world, making dreams come true by giving our customers an opportunity to win a free trip. Boom, another selling feature. Each trip will be different from another. Also, customers have a point system. They're rewarded every time we talk about that. But the trip is, is super cool because I they're, they're offering something for customers to win every single month. So this is going to allow people to come in and literally buy bathing suits just because they may win a free trip. Great marketing tactic, okay? Marketing and sales, word of mouth is most effective marketing. Talked about social media. Um, they talked about affiliate marketers who can earn 10% from every sale they bring in, ads on travel blogs, YouTube, etc. You guys already know marketing is extremely important for your business. You want to have a specific marketing plan that is very unique as well that outlines how you're going to generate income. Alternatives, there are a lot of clothing companies that are already established and selling their merchandise, such as Victoria's Secret, the Dion Rose, Sunny Co, Fashion Nova. However, none of these target a sole niche. They don't target the travel niche solely. So the sales plan, like they mentioned previously, affiliate marketing is offered. So there's a commission opportunities available. They're planning to encourage people to take more trips 
have fun on vacations and so forth. And they're gonna emphasize how important it is to feel good when you look good, right? Fabrics offered in the body shaper with one piece, et cetera. Customers are guaranteed to feel twice as much better about their body. So it's solving a lot of problems, guys. Um, chemicals in the water, people feeling better about their bodies, just better material all around and having a niche market. How many problems is your business solving? That's what you wanna ask yourself today, okay? Um, Location and facilities, it's mainly going to be online, right? Technology, what technology they're going to use to sell and so forth. Number of online shoppers has grown by nearly 20 million from 2015 to 2016. Always put stats in your business plans. 224 million shoppers are spending more as a total amount spent grew from 61 billion in the first quarter to 68 billion in quarter 2016. You got to know your numbers know your numbers, know your numbers, put stats in your business plan. I cannot stress that enough. Equipment and tools, what tools they're gonna to be using, all fabric, fancy stuff that I don't understand. Milestone table, what milestones are they gonna be accomplishing? Key metrics, how are they gonna measure their success as a business? You guys can always pause this video um, and look at the key metrics, look at how the content is written, okay? Look at the key points that are labeled here. And then company, we have overview and structure. You wanna allow the investor to see who's gonna be a part of your team. Do you have mentors? If not, what are your credentials, right? As you can see, Faith here was the only employee, 22 at the time from a suburban city in Brampton. Shout out to all the people in Brampton out there in Toronto. Over the last few years, she works in the travel industry. So boom, she has experience in travel, which sort of sparked her idea for Voyage de la. She traveled to over 12 different countries, 41 states and so forth. And I think a huge thing too was um, her experiencing horrible fabric when it came to swimsuits. And when you experience a problem, normally if you have that entrepreneurial mindset, you just wanna solve it. So financial plan, she assumed how many customers she's gonna get, how many sales she's gonna produce. And this is what I wanna break down for you guys. When you're actually seeking larger sums of money, like 100K or more, you wanna break down financial plans um, you want to be very specific with your financial plans and you want to also show investors how much things are going to cost. So I want to show you guys just one page of her financial forecast here. And then on the next page, I'm going to show you guys how simple it is to fill out an Excel sheet like this and have your finances projected for you and just attach this to your business plan. Again, I'm going to show you guys exactly where to go to do this, to get this done. So don't worry if you have, don't have a lot of experience, do not worry, okay? Um, so as you guys can see here, we have the product lines, which is all her swimsuit product lines. The unit is called swimwear. We have the price per unit and then cost, okay? The cost is going to take to actually build the fabric or get the unit, including shipping and all that. So it's actually super important to know what your cost is going to be in terms of actually um, making fabric or making products or making services. And it's important to have that in your plan. The reason for that is a lot of people only stress, 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 profit, 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 and they don't stress how much it's going to cost to actually get that profit. So you have to make sure your profit margin makes sense. And the investor is going to want to see that you have a good profit margin to see whether they should invest or not. Okay. Um, now we have product lines. So everything here, we have swimwear sold, how many units are going to be sold per month. Okay, we have total sales, we have total cost per unit and the margin. Okay, so if you go down here, you can see that just off the swimwear alone, total units sold, let's go to total sales, do to do 1,852,000 off of total sales alone. So if you're seeing this as an investor, this is just the swimwear set, not even all the other services products and features that is going to be included. It's very appealing to the eye and it's broken down and the cost is included as well of the fabric. Then it's once you fill out the first form on this Excel sheet, it automatically populates the other finances for the next three years, showing the investor what's going to happen longer term as well. There's also um, templates for payroll, how much you're going to pay for payroll. All you do is fill out the first one. The next three years is done for you. So I want to show you guys literally how simple it is to do this. When you're doing finances, I know a lot of people, they kind of go crazy and they're just like, oh my gosh, I failed math, da, 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 da. I don't know how to do this. So I'm going to show you guys how simple it is. You literally just have to follow the steps here. So let's just say I was selling hats. Okay, that's the name. Um, I'm going to put hat two, hat three, hat four, hat 
five hat six so i'm selling hats okay um now for unit if you hover over it'll actually tell you um exactly what well the product line is called hats okay it'll tell you what to put here so this i'm going to put clothing because that's just the category of hats so in each field let's put clothing let me show you guys why you don't got to be a math scholar to get an amazing financial plan to secure funding okay total sales price per unit i don't know i'm gonna put different amounts forty dollars seventy three dollars six dollars twenty nine dollars eighty nine dollars $110. Now, how much is it going to cost to actually make each product? And even if you have a service-based business, you can write how much it's going to cost to pay out a salesperson approximately per sale that they close. Like you need to get a cost per how much it's going to make. Um, okay. Some of these is not making sense because it costs more to make it than I'm making. It, so and then it automatically calculates your margin. This needs to cost less money because I'm only selling it for $6. Okay, then right here, you just write how many units you actually sold and look at that. Everything is auto populated for you right there. So I sold 40 units, right? For the first section, which is hats, 40 times 40 is a, a 1600. And then I cost per unit sold is here. And this is my profit margin. So let's just say month two, I sold 500. One, three, I sold 700. Everything is automatically populated for you. Again, I'm going to show you where to get this system. But uh, um, a breakdown like this that shows the payroll, okay? It shows your sales. It shows additional inputs, your operating expenses. All you have to do is fill out year one. Everything else is, is um, filled out for you. It shows cash flow. It shows income statement. All of that stuff, balance sheet, break even analysis. And it's super easy to fill out because once you fill out the first couple of sections, as you can see, it already starts automatically populating the sections in the other tabs, okay? So if you guys wanna know exactly where Faith got her business plan, right here, new venture hub, okay? Faith is one of my clients. I've worked very closely with her to help her with her business plan. And I also can vouch for this company, new venture hub. I am now going to be partnering with them to offer business plan review services. So if you're watching this video and you do get a package from New Venture Hub, make sure you let them know you came from Antoinette's video so that I can mentor you directly and make sure your plan looks good. Okay, I'm here to help you. Okay, so basically it's like a plug and play system. You answer a few questions, your business plan is automatically generated for you. It's reviewed by an expert and sent to you the very next day. Okay, and amazingly guys, it's really only $19.99 a month or $99 for the entire year to get access. You do have coaching sessions, you get training sessions, you get one-on-one -on -one support, you message a community, you have access to so many different things. So go ahead and check that out, guys. And of course, the plug and play templates are there. Honestly, I'm so excited to see your success when it comes to building a successful business. I love it when you guys send me business time and I absolutely love it when I hear Antoinette, I secured an angel investor. So guys, with that being said, you know what I always say. Okay, what do I always say? Meet me at the top because the bottom is too crowded. Peace, y'all. Have an amazing, amazing, amazing day.